Welcome to Data Tag Extreme qualifying session for the Bennett's British Superbike Championship Round 9 here at Alton Park. Scott Redding, um, how much better does it feel second time around here at Alton? Yeah, it's, uh, it feels weird. I don't know if it feels better, like not having that crazy adrenaline rush every lap, every corner. Uh, it took me a little bit of getting used to, to be honest. Yesterday, I just didn't understand what was going on. Um, but actually, now it feels a lot better. I can make lap times very relaxed. I can make them one after the other, which is really good for me. Um, and it's nice just to come back somewhere I've got a bit of a set in. I know a little bit what's going to happen. So I feel confident. You can see like with the lap times, every time I'm still improving because I'm just feeling more confident with the bike and the track. Um, and to start on the front row here is a, a big helping hand for me. You know, last time I was on the third row, I think. So it was hard for me to try and get away with them guys. I didn't really have the pace. Whereas this time I feel I'm a lot stronger, more consistent because I, I know what to do. I'm not just kind of attacking every corner to the best of my ability. I'm trying to understand it and put it into a rhythm. So I'm feeling good for, for the race this afternoon and really happy with the quality. Excellent. Last time we had a triple header, you won all three. Do you think that can be a repeat yeah, of that? That's when we had a triple header. I was on fire out the box. It was, a, it was a track I just felt good with like straight away. Whereas here is one of those tracks I really had to learn a lot. Uh, no podiums last time out here, so if I can get some podiums over this next two days, I'll be very happy. Um, but I think I'll learn a lot from these two guys in the first race, which will put me in a strong position for the two races tomorrow. Um, and if I could come away with the win here, it would be amazing. going to be very difficult, but I'm going to give it a go. Ah, it's all right. You know, it, it, it is what it is. Um, I just get frustrated with, with riders on circuit just to aggravate me, and I, I'm probably the worst rider to to be around when I'm aggravated. So uh, I did try to wave uh, wave them on. Um, I just felt like, you know, I didn't need anyone to follow and I didn't want to follow anyone, but um, it's hard, you know, it is hard. And I appreciate that everyone's out there to do their own thing, but a uh, little bit frustrated with that, a little bit frustrated with, with my lap time. The bike has a lot more speed and pace in it. Um, and just frustrated that, you know, it just didn't quite go to plan, but ultimately I need to hit the reset button for this afternoon for, for the race and um, come out of the blocks. Uh, I feel I've got a different attitude this weekend, a different mentality, um, and I kind of feel it's enough of me being the, the new Tommy nice guy. Um, I just feel like I want to... Josh, you uh, got the fastest lap of the weekend so far with that last session. Pole position, but was it a tough session? The trap doesn't seem to be very kind. Uh, it felt greasy uh, this morning, um, so I don't know how, how much that come into play, but um, I achieved my PB, I think, around the circuit, so I don't think I've been in the 33 before here um, without looking at the papers. Uh, so if I've done that, then, you know, I'm pleased, you know, it's always good to find improvements and keep, you know, whether it be the bike or myself, keep, keep improving all the time. I also want to say, um, I don't know if I did, but if I did get in the way of um, Brad, Ray and Jason O'Halloran um, on a fast lap, I went into turn one and I think Eden might have crashed and uh, I sort of slowed up and kind of considered what, you know, if there was any debris down or whatever and, and didn't really think about someone could be right behind me and sort of kind of abandoned the lap but um, didn't give enough consideration to others on the track. So if I did get in their way, I, I firstly want to apologise. It wasn't intentional. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I mean, I, the weekend's going well for me. Uh, hopefully it continues on that way. The bike feels good. The team have, have done a good job. I feel like we've just sort of, um, you know, put the pieces together after a good result at Cadwell and then combining that with what we'd already done well here earlier in the year. And just hopefully we can stay in that sort of range and, and keep uh, keep consistent through the race. I know it's going to be tough, but, um, you know, it's that's the... How tough is it doing three races instead of two? How mentally, how tough is that to race now this afternoon? Um, it, it shouldn't be a problem. I think we're we're all you know athletes. You know we we, we can manage the situation. I, I, I believe. Um, you know if it was three on one day, that might be physically more demanding. But I think mentally it's okay. You know we've got a night off um, this evening after the race to you know relax and and chill and get sort of in a good headspace ready for tomorrow.